channel Big Blue Gaming, or if you see my previous videos, welcome back. Today we will be learning how to build an erupting volcano. And so, let's get into it. And so you guys could choose any mountain in your world, of course. For this tutorial, I just wanted to a random world, chose a random mountain. And you're going to want to take your peak of the mountain, so this is probably the highest point, peak or highest point of the mountain. And you're just going to want to make sort of a flat surface so it's not peaked up all the way, depending on how your mountain is. I would leave a flat space about that size. Alright, in that middle of your flat space, whether you had to clear out, or the game was just happy, it gave you the space, I thought you had to clear it. Let's put, we're going to make a piston square that's 4 by 4 And so, 1, 2, 3, 4, sticky pistons. And one, two, three, four. I'm just gonna fill that all in with sticky pistons. Yep. And just fill that all on top of dirt. Just to make it so it's not so noticeable. And then wrap that around again. Just to run that side, I mean, do something random so it looks like you just didn't pop something on top of it. There's at least so much you can do, but yeah. Okay, so perfect. Alright, so now you basically what I go up like this, and for right now, just put a ring around what I am right now, is so that outer layer that you put, you're just gonna wanna wrap around that outer ring that you just put down on the floor and then right here just basically put the dirt around here right now because this is where we're going to put the lava we don't want it to spill down right away so just for right now, you're gonna take your lava buckets. You're gonna fill in for lava on the just on the top right here. Yeah, it's good enough. Doesn't need to be perfect. Then build it up again, and then from here you're just gonna try to build it up as best as you can to make it look like a mountain. This I'll show you tips. There's only so much you can do. Just put some random crap in, I don't know, really. That that all grow back as grass, so. Now we want to leave spots up here, because that's where the lava's going to come up. So without further ado, we will get into that part right now. So we're going to want to get down where the pistons are. And clear out where we put the pistons. Let's see, yeah, so I get over here. And there's gonna be two more so. But just like that. And then underneath here. Just go ahead and put torches, yeah, on all of these. Here. Alright, now that we have that, actually, you know what, we only need these center, these outside ones here, we don't need these right here, now if I, I would just put lava down here, so what you're going to do is actually, we could do it the way I was going to say, but it's actually a simpler way, so I'm coming up with ideas. As I'm talking to you. <laughs> and, right. Okay, so now that we have that taken care of, now it's gonna come under here. It tear the pistons out like that. And so it's in a ring. And then, just on the outside here, put repeaters, see, all the way around here. Yeah, this is gonna work out beautiful here. This could be nice and compact. 
So, actually, this right here is this here already have a repeater. Just take that one out there, that one out here, and then here. Since I have a repeater here, just put one here and here. And then, just take your redstone, bring it around here. If you get any holes like I am right here, I'll just fill that in later on. Right now, you just gotta go all the way around with the redstone, make sure you have this all connected up. Like I do, almost. Okay, so, now that we have this, you are just going to, to test it, put a repeater here, and it does go all the way around, depending on how you did this, and, as you can see, if I took this out right now, that'd be a lava porn, but we don't want that, so we'll take this torch out and make has any future accidents to occur with the lava. And actually what we're going to do here is just, this is uh, what is called a flooded circuit right now. It's because it's like a flooded clock. You're just going to take, to break the circuit, you're just going to take this redstone here and break it. And see, what happens is these repeaters power the wood block and then powers the redstone, and so you're just going to want to make sure you bring this out, and so it's not touching any block adjacent, adjacent to any block that has touched the redstone, and you don't want to have this connected. And so just as I have now, so you can test it real quick. And now that we have this a little bit different, it's going to put a repeater right here, and all should be good as we take this torch out, and it all goes back. And, yeah. So now, what we're gonna do is just dig down a little bit more. And we're gonna put a circuit in that allows you to make it so, like, so if you want the volcano to erupt every five Minecraft days, every 6 minecraft days, every 20 minecraft days I will show you how we can do that now because this is the other part of the erupting volcano tutorial and so we can just put a regular piston here regular piston here we can put a regular piston here regular piston here, just uh the bigger you make this square I'm going to show you here it's going to be a big square actually a rectangle for me and I will show you it's all this would be an example of one and each of these glass blocks represent a minecraft day basically in this circuit and so the bigger you make this the more minecraft days you can have without it erupting so if your personality wants it to erupt very rare you want it to erupt like I don't know 40, I mean there might be some people out there, every 40 Minecraft days I have my thing up, so it's like really realistic. Well, you're going to be doing this a big square here. But just, if you want it simple, you don't need anything more than what I have here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 days, so every 8 days it will erupt. And you're just going to put, take one of these glass box, replace it for white wool, don't do it one that's adjacent to a piston. It's one like that, where it's out in the middle, so we hear it over there. On that side. And then you're just gonna go down here, place a redstone torch. Put that there, and then place redstone here. And this is actually what's gonna go to your our output that we were testing up above here. And so now we're just gonna try to make a redstone trail. <coughs> That goes from there down to here. So we'll figure this out. So we'll come down here. This will work out. What it looks like. Yeah. So that'll work out. And so now 
It comes up here. And depending on how far away or how deep you have this, so the farther this line will come up, you might have to just fix your repeaters up on top here. No big deal. Just have to fix a couple things, but at the end we're all good. And then the last thing is so basically these repeater these pistons will actually rotate this. And so the next thing we have to do is just connect all these pistons up. We're gonna connect the two uh, diagonal ones here and the other two diagonal ones up here together. So I will show you what I mean. I have to dig around here a little bit just to give you a little bit of space. And remember, if you build this up too high, that it's more work you're gonna have to do to cover it up because you're gonna run into some hole issues. I leave this. Uh, exposed to the outside, so you're not going to want to do that. Like, I think I built it down deep enough that it's not crazy getting to the circuit up above, but I can still do this without having the patch holes up above, or in the mountain. But that's totally up to you on how the mountain is designed, how my Mujing has the mountain designed. So, then these other two, I'm just going to want. It's going to have to be a little bit creative here to get these to work. So like here I can make this, make little... Trail, let's see if I can do, bring this... If you're following my design here, this is going to kind of make it up as I go. And so yeah, this, this should work. And now we're just going to bring this piston back up over here to this. And so it's going to come around. And eventually, this will work and our erupting volcano is almost finished. Let's see how it's better if you open this up at first, actually. It's kind of a mess. Okay. And so now. In this circuit, anywhere here, you're just going to want to test to make sure that both pistons work. And so like over here, you're going to need to fix your redstone line to make sure it goes directly into the piston here. Don't make, don't have it on the side, otherwise it will not work. And over on this side, test the same connection in the same general area. Let's see how they're both going. And so what we're going to do here is basically just take the outside lead and bring it in one, two, this is with a four tick, so right, right here, four tick delay. And then we're going to come around, like so, like that. And so, when I have a button going to the outside lead, not the inside lead though, no the outside lead that goes and the other one the other side should go too so and if it doesn't that just means you need a little bit more delay it's no big deal try a three tick see how it turned now see how that white block is rotating and so what you'll need if you're doing the same if you're, when you're doing the circuit, is three repeaters between the outside and the inside. So no big deal. We got this to work. And so now basically, we're just going to come around here, make a three deep by three by one, two, three, four. And just put a little pulse circuit in. Actually, right here is perfect. And I'll show you when I'm done here so you can get a look at it. And so basically, that's all you need. Just look at that, copy that. That's going to be your pulse circuit. And just hook it up to this torch here. And so now basically, even if I put a lever right here, it will still act as a pulse and it will still move this white block. Now basically this is going to get hooked up to a 
daylight sensor. And so, every single day, this will pulse, which will send a signal to here, and when the light block gets all the way around here, it will erupt, and in 8 days, or however big you have made your square here, it will erupt at that time. And so now out here, he's going to try to find outside here. Just, I would just try not to make it too noticeable. I mean, it's a, I'm guessing you're doing this off of a huge mountain, so it can't be too bad. I can do this. I'll show you a little trick here. The sensors, but this come down here. It kind of gets straight up to your circuit here. And then, out here, what you could do is even now, no one's going to notice this because it's a huge ass mountain. You can still put this green carpet over it and it will still work. Just fine, it's still, I don't know if you want to keep this, but carpet does work. See, so yeah, I can show you that this is still lit with the green carpet. You can put lime, I don't know. I just try to be a little bit creative. But anyways, that's pretty much that. And so now, we will come out here and I'll show you the final step in getting your volcano to work. Just kind of patch things up here. Um, make sure, yeah, that this is off. And cover up all your redstone shenanigans here. Sorry, if I pronounced that wrong. And just take out this ring here. Don't take out this inner part yet, because that's where the lava will come out of. And basically from here, you're just going to try to make some sort of design to make it look like a mountain. So we'll see what we can do here in a few minutes. I don't know, I'll just kind of get up there. And then, I don't know. This is going to look more like a temple. But something, I don't know. Just make this kind of peek up. Make it look like something that would actually be here. So you don't notice the volcano. I'm just going to do something. I don't freaking know. I don't know. Leave a couple holes for the lava to get through. In the corners, I'd say. And it rings. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah, just uh, kind of just be creative. I don't know. I'm just doing something stupid right now. But eventually that will grow in the grass. And I don't know. Maybe it looks something like a mountain. Okay. So, next, what you're going to do is if you just want to leave it, you can, that's pretty much it. You can just leave it alone now and just wait for it to erupt. Or just to show you guys I'm just gonna come down here and just make that white block go to where you so override the system just to show you the eruption and so right now see how that's lit see how we have lava pouring now and so now this lava should pour all over your mountain. Now it takes time, and basically the hatch will close every single uh, uh, the day for like the day it'll be open, and the next day it'll close, and then it takes time for the lava to disappear. Obviously, but hopefully, if you made the days long enough in between, so if you put like 20 days. This will be long gone, and then you can have some time before it erupts again. If you do it short, like I did, you might have it like constant volcano. But that's all the way. That's all up to you guys. And then I don't know with this thing I did here. You don't have to do it because it's kind of making the lava not be so flowy. But you can kind of make this work. I don't know. Just kind of fool around with it and make it work, and so it works to your pleasing but basically as you can see I'm in the winter biome and we have 
a volcano happening right here, and so look at that, the volcano's erupting, we're all gonna die. Whew. It's intense. Alright, then obviously, I'll sh you know. This will work. Now one thing actually here is, you're going, this uh, will actually, lava if you have it, will probably burn the carpet. I didn't think of that. But you can do it, it won't burn the daylight sensor, they'll see your block. So if it, even if it burns the carpet, you got your daylight sensor, you can just leave the daylight sensor over there. No one's going to notice if you have it. Not so noticeable on the side of the mountain, no one's going to notice. But obviously this daylight sensor will just move it around, and it will keep going. That forever and ever and ever, so. That's the erupting volcano tutorial. Alright, so guys, please comment, subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed. Uh, that's pretty much all I've got for you today. We will see you next week. Ciao.